Hello, in this AWS uh, Developer Associate, I wish to demonstrate about the knowledge check on module 9. So this module 9 is uh, catching information for scalability. This is the topic. Yeah, uh, we have about 10 questions in this knowledge check. We need to get at least 70%. So that is 7 questions. We need to put it right. But these questions are very helpful for your exam. So my sincere request is to prepare these uh, questions well for your examination and also review. Uh, the good thing is that you can uh, attempt these questions unlimited times. So let me start. Here is the first question. So an architect suggests that the developers implement catching on an existing application to address performance issues. Which option describe factors that the developer should consider when they decide where to add catching? So, yeah, this consider the tolerance for stale data uh, in each context where the data is stored. So, let me check whether this is the right answer. Yes, this is the right answer. The second one. A developer has determined that an in-memory key value store would improve performance of their application queries. They want to keep the solution as simple as possible and need to support read replicas. Which option should they choose? This is Redis. Whenever you see this replicas, read replicas, this is Redis. Amazon Elastic Edge for Redis. Let us check the answer. Okay, it's correct. Third one, Amazon Elastic Catch is being added to an application to improve response times and alleviate database pressure. So the backend database for this for the application is an Amazon RDS database. Which task would be the responsibility of the application developer? So. This is uh, writing code uh, that looks for the requested data in the catch. Yeah, this should be correct. And if the data is not found, request from the origin. Yes. The fourth one. So, which statement about Amazon Elastic Catch is true? So, your application connects to Elastic Catch node by using unique address that is called as endpoint. Let me check. Yes, this is correct. Fourth one is correct. Fifth one. A developer has been asked to address complaints from customers in London area about the performance of a web based application that is hosted in New York. Which option might the developer implement? So, we need to set up a cloud front. Uh, distribution that can serve static content from the edge locations that are closer to UK users. This is the appropriate answer. Okay, the fifth one is correct. Sixth one, a developer has been asked to increase the catch hit ratio for their Amazon CloudFront distribution. Which option should they try? So, So this should be increase or include the only the minimum necessary values in the catch key. I think this looks better one. Yeah, this is correct. Seventh one, which statement about the Amazon CloudFront catched file expiration is true? So, uh, this looks, after a file expires, the next time the edge location gets a user request for the file, CloudFront forwards the uh, request from the origin server, yes, that is correct. And uh, this is the eighth question, which use case suggests the use of Amazon CloudFront functions? So, 
this should be a function uh, yeah this should be looking better uh, the function that redirects the viewer to a different url and adds a custom response header let me check yes ninth one which statement reflects a benefit of lazy loading as a catching strategy this is the ninth one so lazy uh, lazy loading avoids filling up the catch with the data that is not requested okay let me check this yeah this is correct the last one in this uh, module 9 a developer has been asked whether catching might improve the performance of their online bidding application how should they answer this question so using different type of catching at each application layer might improve both front end and back end performance looks like this better let me check yes this is correct so we have completed this module 9 and uh, yes congratulations we have scored 100 percent so let us again uh, meet uh, in uh, uh, using this module 9 okay thank you and bye